Hey, and welcome back. And yes, that was a pretty strong title. Do not buy the Sony Turf SD card M series. Let's find out why. So if you're using one of these Sony Tuff SD cards, the M series, which is a UHS-2 card, and you're not using it in a UHS-2 camera, you'll have issues. Let me explain why. This is it in a D850. UHS-2 camera, works fantastic, no hassle at all. For filming, the speed is perfect. When we use it, on a UHS-1 camera, like the Nikon Z50, which I'm recording on right now, unfortunately, it doesn't use, so if we put that up to there, we're gonna get focus, there we go. So, that second row of chips across the bottom there is what makes it a UHS-2 card. Works brilliantly, superb, really fast transfer rates, and this has got a rating of 277 on the read and 150 on the right. We need 30 for 4K video. Shouldn't be an issue. The trouble is, when you put this into your UHS-1 device, it doesn't always work. It should, but it doesn't. I had this issue before. We did a little video on the Nikon Z50 on this card not working together. Um, but now I've come to the conclusion that it's just not worth it for anything. Um, it's not just the camera, to be fair. Although Nikon shouldn't have recommended the card. They obviously didn't test it properly. And Sony shouldn't have developed it. Now Nikon are going back and testing it after what we've discovered um, into that side of stuff. But Sony, sort it out. Right, let's have a look. So if we plug this card into the card reader and have a look on here, we're going to run a bench test onto this card. Now we are, let's start this going. We are getting, at the start, 80 odd on the speed, 80 to 90 depending, okay? Perfect, more than enough for writing and writing your 4K footage too. But watch as it carries on, it continues to write. See how it's just dropped there to five, six? Nowhere near enough. That's when the camera pops up saying interrupted recording, because it can't continue. It can't sustain that write speed. Rightly so as well, it shouldn't have to put up with that. This card, it's in a UHS-1 card reader as well, because that's got to signify, hence why the low speed's on there. Cannot perform on a UHS-1 device. Pure and simple as that. I have no problem with SanDisk, with Lexar. Their UHS-2 cards work beautifully, no hassle at all. No compromise on speed for a fraction of the price of the Sony TUF works no problem. So why does the Sony TUF not work? They've obviously cheapened out on something or messed up or I don't know what it is. Um, now, the caveat to this is that, as you'll see that card's quite full, it's about 40 gig onto that. I deleted some files in the middle, which created a gap. Now I'm aware that puts a strain on SD cards or cards that store the data on chips, not just down to the SD per se. It's any solid state drive has the same sort of issue. It will affect the speed write because the weight does it. And some of them have little caches built in and far more technical people than me will explain why um, that's the case. But for some reason, this Sony card just is not good enough to do that. The G might be all right. I don't know. I wasn't willing to spend four times the amount of this card to go and buy it to test it. Because why? I don't need to. Speed doesn't affect me. This works beautifully in a D850, recording 4K footage. Absolutely sweet. Works for my needs. It's great. I'll let you decide whether you want to risk spending your hard-earned cash on something that might or might not work. But I can say that this does not for UHS-1 devices, satisfactory. Up to, I couldn't use that on a job. If that happened on a job and I missed something, it would be horrendous. So what I'm saying is, don't buy this for a UHS-1 device. If it, you've got a UHS-2, great, use it. 
hope that helps. Hope that maybe put a bit of clarity in your mind if you were thinking of getting this for one of those devices. If it did, thumbs up, really appreciate it. If you want to continue the conversation down below, put something in the comments, let's have a chat. Subscribe for any future bits and look forward to seeing you all soon.